Hey everybody, it's the Ionic guy. So something that I have noticed since I have gotten the preconditioning update for my Ionic 5 is eco mode is dangerously slow to the point where I almost got T-boned while trying to turn left through an intersection the other day. Now the big issue for me is that I never really drove in eco mode prior to this update. So I've done a few road trips and most of the time, the only time I put on eco mode is on the highway. City driving, I'm pretty much always in normal mode, sometimes in sport mode, but for the most part, I'm out of eco mode. So I don't have a good frame of reference for what eco mode was like on city streets prior to the preconditioning update. But the other day on my road trip to upstate New York, I had the car in eco mode on city streets while leaving my house going to Albany. So I was about three miles from my house. I was at a stoplight and I had a green light, but so did oncoming traffic and I was waiting to turn left. So I finally saw a gap in the oncoming traffic that would allow me to turn left safely through the intersection. So I was in eco mode and I just assumed that if I wasn't getting enough acceleration, I would just push the accelerator pedal further to the floor. So when I started accelerating and realized I was getting hardly any power, I floored the accelerator all the way and that still wasn't enough to get me through the intersection quick enough to avoid getting T-boned by an oncoming car. Thank God, because it was pretty close. I almost got T-boned going through that intersection because eco mode was so sluggish and I was not anticipating it to be that unresponsive. So that was really scary. And just based on that one single fact alone, I will never be using eco mode on city streets ever again. Now, I've seen many other people commenting on my videos about the sluggishness of the new eco mode, and I reached out to Hyundai Corporate, and they said they're gonna speak with Korea and get me an answer relatively soon. I asked them straight up, I said, did you guys reprogram anything with the drivetrain? So they're gonna get back to me on that, and hopefully I'll have an answer pretty soon. But I did do a zero to 60 test in the car earlier today on a downhill, nonetheless. The thing is, is that it's much slower on the low end than it is on the high end. So when you need to get through an intersection and get up to say 25, 30 miles per hour, you want to have some, some takeoff there. And what I'm witnessing is, is that that takeoff is just completely gone. And that is just not safe. Even a slow car can accelerate to 30 miles per hour in enough time to get through an intersection safely. So let's do a little zero to 60 test right here. This is all downhill, flooring it now. Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40. So I'd say around 30 miles per hour is when the power really starts to kick on again. But that zero to 30 is scary slow. And as you can see, that is not a quick zero to 60 and zero to 30 is also extremely slow. I really want you guys to be cognizant of this. Be careful because I almost got in an accident because of it. And if you don't know what you're expecting and you cut something really close, you could really get hurt. Be careful. So let's go out, do a little quick drive around my neighborhood, and I'll show you guys just what I'm talking about. So up here, I'm gonna be making a right onto a 45 mile per hour state highway where most people are doing 55 to 60. And if you think you've got enough power turning onto a road like this and you don't, it's a good way to get in an accident. So I got a clear, Opening right now and 25, 30. Had somebody been a lot closer, there's a truck coming up on me right now, but had somebody been closer and I didn't see them on that blind hill right there, they would have been pissed <laughs> to say the least. So there you go. That's what it's like driving in eco mode after the preconditioning update. When I get word from Hyundai, what the hell's going on here, if they have any idea, I'll be sure to let you guys know in a follow-up video. But as of right now, I personally would not recommend using eco mode anymore, but that's just me. That's where I live. If you live somewhere where you have big wide open spaces and you can see for a mile down the road, go for it. But around here in New England, where you have lots of hills and turns and blind driveways and blind curves, I wouldn't recommend it because you're taking too big of a chance with other people speeding through those areas. So as always guys, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care everybody.